So in my last video, I talked to you about how to start an IV and how to drop the angle once you get flashback. And something that a lot of people said that they struggle with is actually advancing the catheter. So I want to show you two ways that you can advance the catheter itself. So the way that I showed in my last video, which is what you might be most comfortable seeing or see frequently in the hospital setting, is the one-handed advancement technique, where you hold the needle or the stylet straight and steady and use your pointer finger to actually advance the catheter off of it and leave it in your patient's vein. This, however, does require a lot of manual dexterity and it is a skill that is learned, practiced, and perfected. So I wanna show you another way you can do it as well and maybe this will be easier for you. With this two-handed advancement technique, you're gonna use your dominant hand to hold steady the needle or the stylet, being careful not to push that safety button. And then you're going to use your other hand to advance the catheter into the vein. At that point, you may then uh, retract the needle and deploy the safety mechanism. Now, personally, I like the one-handed advancement technique because it allows my other hand to be open to do things with to grab supplies and things like that. So if you want to get better at this technique, grab a pen or your IV needle here like this and just practice sliding the cap off. It's just that simple. Just practice this motion and that's going to help you improve that manual dexterity and that fine motor motion for the one-handed catheter advancement technique. I hope this helps.